Memorial Day weekend upon us, people are flocking to area lakes. But as you go out on the water, the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency wants to remind you that driving a boat while impaired is dangerous. Reporter Aaron Velasquez spoke with wildlife officers about how they work to keep the public safe. We're going to see a lot of traffic out here on Memorial Day weekend. Douglas Lake in Jefferson County is a popular spot for many boaters. It's a little calm right now. we got some bass fishermen out, but it, I'm sure it's going to ramp up with this pretty weather that's in the forecast. As more people head to the lakes, wildlife officers stress the importance of boating sober. And I believe the most important thing we can do is get an impaired operator off the water because when you get an impaired operator off the water, you're saving a life. Officer Justin Pinkston says a casual attitude about boating and alcohol can lead to accidents. And there's this stigma that we we need the help of the public to break of that people think boats and alcohol go together. Like I saw at the gas station this morning, people just loading up boats with alcohol. Having a drink on the water can be different than one on land. And it slows your judgment. You factor in the heat, the boat rocking, the waves. Most people aren't drinking enough water out here. They're getting dehydrated. That alcohol is going to hit you two or three times faster. He also says identifying drunken boaters can be challenging. It is tough out here. We do have some difficulties of locating them, uh, but that's why we're doing our safety checks. He adds the public can play a crucial role in keeping each other safe. We need the public's help to uh, help get these people off the water. People in the boat need to hold each other accountable. That wildlife officer says to have a designated driver and to let your friends and family know where you are and when you expect to be back.